In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and a complete setup. Press the power button and switch on the printer. Select the language. Select the country. And next thing is to install the setup ink cartridges. Or open the ink cartridge chamber. So place your hand here. There is a place. Lift it. It's easy. Wait for the ink cartridge chamber to come to the position. So these are the ink cartridges, four ink cartridges here. Also remove this seal as you can see here. So now simply place the ink cartridge as you can see the markings here. Place black ink cartridge first or any you want. Simply place it here. Press it down until you hear a lock sound. Close this, press it down and go to the main screen, go to the main screen and check if everything is ok. So it will take around 4 minutes, so just wait for the initial setup. Click on the close, click ok and we have to enter the paper, load the paper. So there a tray here adjust the size close the tray and confirm the details on the screen so that's the cassette paper tray and another one so click ok and if you want to proceed for the fax setup you can do or you can close it and we can set up later you should be able to see the main screen of the printer and we are ready to use it for the copy next thing is to connect with the Wi-Fi network of your home or office and then we will add in a device for wireless printing and scanning now go to the screen and click on the next select settings journal settings network setting Wi-Fi setup So you will see here router, click on it, start setup, Wi-Fi setup wizard, select your Wi-Fi network, enter the password from the screen, printer is connected to the Wi-Fi, click close and go to the home button. Now we have to add this printer in a device for wireless printing and scanning. Now I'm going to add this printer in my iPhone. So go to the Epson iPrint app. In the app, go to the main section. And here you can see the name of the printer. Select this section. Select home button. Wait for the printer to appear. Make sure your iPhone and printer is connected to the same Wi-Fi. You should be able to see your printer's name here, 7820 series. Select it and select keep using Epson iPrint. Printer is added and we can see the estimated level of ink. Go to the home button and we are ready to use it for wireless printing and scanning. For example, to print a document, select any document you have and then click on the print button. Print speed is good. Now to do the scanning, we can go back. You can scan from the printer screen to a USB. You can attach a USB here or you can scan from there to your iPhone. 
For example, we can use the top feeder tray for scanning. So place a page on the top and click on the scan button here. Go to the settings, select source as a ADF and go back and click on the scan icon. Once the scan is transferred, we can save it or we can share it. So this way we can do the setup of this printer and then we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning. So that's the complete setup. Thanks for watching.